Welcome back. My name is Mark Jernod and this is the Cybersecurity Show. So without further ado, let's get right into it, right? Supposedly, there's a lot of angry, pissed fans that are mad at the Cybertruck Live event. Hey. I'm going to detail why they were mad and what Elon Musk may or may not do about it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You know we're going dark. Elon Musk has finally launched the Cybertruck Welcome to the Cybertruck uh, delivery event at a live event at Tesla's Austin Gigafactory. This was highly anticipated, right? Tesla fans called the event cringy and criticized the pickups range and pricing on social media. Now, here is the key. The Cybertruck will start at 60, roughly 61,000, which is tens of thousands more than what Tesla promised in 2019. Elon Musk has finally launched, right, the long-awaited Cybertruck, and that is one of the reasons why the Tesla fans are not happy. Deliveries of the Tesla's futuristic pickup began at a glitzy event at the company's Austin Gigafactory yesterday, but social media users have criticized the Cybertruck over its disappointing range and unexpected high price, as well as the cringy launch event. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Here is, you know, quotation marks. I expected some sort of surprise feature kept under wraps. It was the opposite. Horrible launch event, disappointing range, almost abusive pricing considering what was promised, wrote a Tesla flan, fan on the platform Reddit, right? Another user described the event as a total de uh, debacle <laughs> and slammed a stunt in which Tesla recreated the now infamous window smashing incident from the Cybertruck 2019 unveiling as cringe and absurd. I couldn't believe they did that. Why draw attention to the old steel ball broken window gag at all if you're going to follow it up by gently tossing a baseball, they said. For me, this potential purchase was always, always about two things. Setting aside the design, range, and price, both have missed the mark. Quite a bummer. At the Cybertruck's 2019 launch event, Musk announced that the Cybertruck would start at 39,000, which is roughly 40,000, with the most premium version coming in at 77,000 and having 500 miles of range. That is a far cry from what Tesla unveiled yesterday. The cheapest model, which is not coming until 2025, will cost 61,000 roughly and have a 205 mile range, while the all wheel drive version that is available from 2024 costs roughly 80,000. The premium Cyber Beast version, meanwhile, clocks in at a whopping 100,000 before tax for 340 miles of range. Musk notably did not mention the price during the live event, which was streamed on X. Tesla fans on the Cybertruck subreddit roundly criticized the vehicle's range and price with several saying that they were reconsidering buying the Cybertruck after the underwhelming launch. The lighting was horrible. Elon sounded totally unprepared. <laughs> so so once, once in a while, once in, once, in a, once in a long while. Repeating himself and stumbling through slides, which is wrote somebody, right? They really came after this guy. Who described the range and pricing reveal as absolutely heartbreaking. That was devastating to me. This is another guy, right? Maybe I'm dramatic. Yes, you are. But I've been looking forward to this for almost half a decade. And now it's unobtainable to me in price. I feel like a dream got crushed, they said. Yeah, your dream got crushed. Who cares? The company is offering a range extender, which it says will bring the Cybertruck closer to its promised range. The extender is an external battery pack that sits in the truck's pickup bed and offers an extra 120 miles of range. However, it's not clear how much this will add to the Cybertruck's price and social media users pointed out that it would likely take up much of the space used for actually carrying things. Prominent tech YouTuber Marquise Brownlee also criticized the discrepancy between what Tesla promised in 2019 and what is offering now. Tesla Cybertruck is notably the first time that Tesla is straight up not delivering on some of the key specs they promised, he wrote in a post on X. Tesla did not immediately respond to a request for comment from Business Insider made outside normal working hours. So what do you think about, you know, why do you think there was this this price hike? Tens of thousands of dollars price hike. He promised 
you know, something, deliver the next. It's pissing fans off. What do you think Elon Musk should do? I think he has to find a way to drive the price down because, you know, I think it's a little unfair to, you know, put a price on something. People are anticipating a certain price and then you literally put it tens of thousand dollars outside of their range. Do you think Elon Musk is trying to pay for other things? Maybe the X things, whatever. I don't know. So let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this part started. Let's get this comment section part started. Huh? Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. Please hit the notification bell. Please share the content. I appreciate your viewership and see you on the next video.